What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. Today, we're doing a speed build and review of Attack on the Burrow, the Lego Harry Potter set. But first, we got a package. Uh, it's a really big, heavy package. This is one that I'm pretty excited about. Me too. It's one that I've asked for for about two years, maybe. Yeah, I've wanted this one for a long time. Just Before never. They retired uh, it. Yeah, I heard that they were retiring it this year, like any month now, and so I figured they better jump on it. We gotta stand up the cut up. It's a big one. Oh man! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It is the ice skating rink. Yeah, yeah. The ice skating rink. We got this preset. Uh, we built one of these. We didn't ever do a review on it though, so yeah. maybe we will. I don't know. I didn't think it was that cool. Jackson. I mean, it. Well, the gears stopped working. Yeah, it did stop working. We could probably fix it, but. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we'll probably put this one on eBay. All right. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, this is my. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. It's. <sighs> The roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the streets. This one's getting retired this year, sometime any month now. Uh, I'm not sure when. It's got 41, 24 pieces, um, 16 plus set, set number 10261. Uh, it's one I've wanted for a long time, just have never taken the plunge. I don't know where I'm gonna put it when it's done, <laughs> to be honest. Put it in my room. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but. Yeah. I mean, it looks super cool. I'm stoked to build it. And uh, yeah, it's on the roller coaster. Stay tuned. We'll be doing a review and video on this one sometime soon. We got to get caught up on our backlog, but someday soon. All right, just a quick reminder, of course, if you subscribe to our channel and comment on any of our videos I subscribe, you'll be entered to win a free Lego Ideas vintage car. Uh, Many you, of you already have it. If you already have it, you can sell it on eBay. You get about, what, 25, 30 bucks for these on eBay. So uh, just, Subscribe to our channel and then comment down below any of our videos including this one I subscribed and you'll be entered to win um, once we hit 100 subscribers I'm gonna draw a lucky winner and then I will send it to you free of charge wherever you want me to send it So there you go. All right now back to attack on the burrow review and speed build Jackson Why don't you break down the box for us? Well, it's nine plus the item number is seven five nine eight zero and it is 1047 pieces 1047 pieces Jackson built this one all by himself Mm, yeah. I helped a little at the end, but Jackson mostly built it by himself. Is this the biggest set you built? No. These ones are so big. Oh, is that one bigger? Yep. Okay. So one of the biggest sets he's ever built. Um, super cool set. Jackson, what are the minifigs that it comes with? No, geez. These names are hard. Um, really small, too. Tix. Lurix. Uh, Bellatrix Lestrange. Veneer Greyback. Nifedora Tonks. You can do the rest. <laughs> um, Arthur Weasley, Molly Weasley, Ron Weasley, Ginny Weasley, and Harry Potter. Cool. So we, as I've mentioned before, we are still in the middle of the third Harry Potter book. I believe this is from a part of the story that we haven't gotten to. Um, my friend, um, we zoomed together and he said um, it was book, well... I think he said it was like book five or book six. Yeah. So it's from a portion of the books we haven't gotten to. We don't really know the storyline as far as this set goes. Um, but it was a super cool, fun build. So uh, let's check out the uh, instruction book. All right, here's the instruction book. It is a pretty thick book, um, over a thousand pieces. So um, 175 pages. Uh, nothing too special about this one. We are going to build it real quick, and we'll see you in just a second. <laughs>
Okay, so here it is, the Attack on the Burrow Lego set from Harry Potter. Uh, Jackson built this one all by himself. Um, as you've heard us say many, many times regarding Harry Potter Lego sets, this one is just loaded with detail. Um, tons and tons of playability. Um, every time I do a Harry Potter set, I'm like, I tend to say like, this is my favorite Harry Potter set. And I think it's gonna be, it's gonna hold true for this. This may be my favorite Harry Potter set. <gasps> You don't like the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> I do like the Hogwarts Express. I mean, I'm not even like a huge Harry Potter fan, but the sets, just super cool. Loaded with playability and tons and tons of detail. Um, so as we see, this is the burrow. Um, I believe it's the Weasley's house, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so it's got this topsy-turvy look to it. They did this little technique uh, that made it look like this half of the building is actually uh, tilting. Uh, which is super cool. I love the detail in the roofs, the different shingle colors that they've added. It's got it, the railing. The roofs were pretty hard. I couldn't, like, I I figured it out, so um, I'm glad that I figured it out, but the roofs, just with all of these different colors, it was super It got hard. a little confusing. It, it was hard to keep track of which layer you were on, I think. Yeah. So it, it's got these cool little windows. I love these uh, tile bricks that they did that have, like, the wood grain in them. That's really cool. Um, you got a little pig pen here that opens and closes. Um, let, the, let the pig in and out. Uh, you got a little bucket sitting here. You got these cool windows with like the uh, details on the sides. Um, some nice brickwork going on there. This window has the railing that goes in front of it. You got this cool uh, chimney sitting on top. Uh, little uh, deck overlooking everything here on the side. Um, but the fun really begins when you turn it around. So when you turn around, you see the inside of the house and just everything that's going on. It's just so much. It's almost overwhelming how much you got to look at on the inside of this house. Um, both sides open up to make it nice and large, big old play set. Um, so on this side, you have a little couch with a, a couple of candles next to you. Um, you got a fireplace. The fireplace has a cool little feature where it turns. So you got a fire and then you have the green fire. Um, over here, you got a couple of notes. You got some logs here next to the fire. You and some is, books on a bookshelf. This is the stuff where you put in the fire to make it. Oh, yeah. What fire. is that stuff called? Flu, pow flu powder. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Flu powder? I yeah, know. if I remember right. <laughs> like I said, we're not like Harry Potter connoisseurs, but we are fans. We like Harry Potter. We're just, we haven't read all the books. So, um, anyway, you got another little deck right here. Um, oh, no, that's the one that we looked at before. <laughs> So yeah, that side opens up really cool. And then we turn it around, this side opens up. So you have the huge table to fit the whole Weasley family. Well, the whole Weasley family is in here. We're still missing like George Weasley. Uh, yeah, well, well, most of the Weasley family. Um, you got some eggs, you got some waffles, um, all kinds of drinks, juice, whatever. Um, over here, you got a little sink with a little teapot and there is water in the sink, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. And I bet this is like, where you can put that in. Oh yeah, just a little blue clear piece right there. <clears throat> um, right here, it looks like you got a big old grandfather clock uh, sitting next to that chair. You got a couple of plants. Uh, the hallway that goes to the front door. And then you move on to the second level. You have is this Jenny's room right here. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got like a little uh, vanity set there with a brush and a chair in front of it. Above the bed, she has a picture. What's that a picture of? Here, let me see. Um, it's a picture of like wizard sisters. Yeah, like a wizard picture. Cool. Uh, you go up to the next level. You have a a big old chair with a basket in front of it, and maybe like a blanket with a picture on the wall. This is a much bigger, larger bed uh, with a couple of pillows, which is super cool. For Molly Weasley and um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> I guess I could say Mr. Weasley. Mr. Weasley. Um, Arthur. Arthur Weasley, Arthur that's Weasley. right. And then you go to the top floor and you have another bed. Um, that I believe that is Ron's bed. Ron's bed. Cool. Yeah, so you got a little picture on the wall. You got some steps that lead up to this little deck area here on the roof uh, where he's got a spare broom. And then you have the two uh, owls perched on the roof of the building. So, tons of fun, just so much detail. And uh, I'm sure this one was super fun to build and it really, really looks cool. 
Of course, you have the fire that sits out front. Um, like I said, we have not read this book yet, but I'm assuming that at some point, the burrow is, is under attack and something starts on fire, <laughs> judging by what comes with the set. So we need to we need to finish the books, huh, Jackson? Cool. Okay, so first up, you have Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, she's pretty cool. She's wearing the dress. She's got this big old poof hair style going on. She's got the angry looking face and a wand in her hand. Um, next up is Frenrir Greyback is his name. Uh, he's got the cool printing on the torso, legs, and back. He's got the wand in his hand as well. He's got like some... I don't know, some hairy silver. face stuff going on. I don't know. He's got some silver eyes. Silver creepy eyes. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Next up, we got Nymphadora Tonks. Um, she's got the wand as well. She's got the brown hair. She's got the printing on the torso and back. Nothing else. Uh, then we got the Weasley clan. You got Arthur Weasley with his wand and cool little sweater. You have Molly Weasley. Uh, with her sweater as well and a wand in her hand, the cool red hair. You got Ron Weasley. You got Jenny Weasley. A lot of Weasleys. And you got Harry Potter. So lots of cool minifigs come with this set. Like I say, we're not familiar with those first few just because we haven't read the book. Um, but they are good looking minifigs, so I'm happy with what it came with. It didn't come with the other two Weasleys, um, the two brothers, Fred and George. Not their names. Um, so that's the only other thing that they could have been in. Uh, maybe they aren't in this part of the book. Um, we don't know. I don't know. But. Maybe they're still at Hogwarts. They sneaked out. Yeah, we don't know. But yeah, that's the only two that I could see that would be missing. But uh, maybe that's because uh, they're not part of the storyline in that part of the book series. All right. So the Attack on the Burrow set by Lego Harry Potter. Um, Let's talk about pros and cons. The things I liked about it, awesome detail, tons of playability. Um, I don't really have any complaints as far as this one goes. I mean, you could play at this one for a really long time. Um, obviously, you could play out the scene from the books or movie. Uh, Jackson, what are some of the things that you like about it? I mean, I say this in every single one. I, it, Well, this one has almost the most of it in Harry Potter Lego. Always the detail. Like... I feel like every set is my favorite, and I just love them, and I love all the detail that they have. I love all the detail on the inside. Um, I think the roof looks really cool how it is. Um, it kind of makes it look kind um, like the um, Weasley house um, or the burrow. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything you don't like about this set? Um... One thing that I don't like. What? I don't like how hard it got when we did up here. It was just super duper hard. So it just got a little bit difficult to do kind of the roof. Yeah, that's the part that I came in and helped you with was where we were doing the roof and you kind of lost track of what row that you were on. Made it a little bit tricky. All right, as far as ratings go, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really like it. Um, like I said, there's just so much to do um, with this set. Um, it was a fun one to build. It looks really cool. It's going to fit nicely on our display shelf with all of our Harry Potter Lego sets. Um, it is probably one of my favorites overall. Uh, Diagon Alley I really like, but it did get a little repetitive and it's just a huge set. Um, this one was just a quick, easy build. Uh, Took like a day. In comparison anyway, but it's still loaded with the same level of detail as um, Diagon Alley was. Uh, Jackson, what are you going to give this one? I am going to give this a 9.7. I really love the detail. I love how it looks. I love how it's going to look on my shelf. Um, so, yeah. I think the only problem that we are going to have is that it's a little tall for your shelf. Yeah, my shelf is like this tall. <laughs> so we're going to have to figure something out to, to make it work with his Harry Potter setup. But um, all in all, awesome set. We highly recommend it. If you're a Harry Potter fan, it's a must-have. Um, it is available on the Lego store right now for $99.99. Uh, check it out and uh, let us know what you think. All right, so there it is, Attack on the Burrow, the Lego Harry Potter set. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on picking.